What's going on YouTube? I'm Scoop Steve. I'm back and I'm doing this video as a request for my man Paul Madfish and he has an RODI unit or an RO unit excuse me and wanted to know what the deionization pro uh, process was all about and asked me if I could give him a pro and con video to it. Uh, uh, RO, think of RO as a filtering process that takes out all of the suspended particles out of the water. Um, I have an uh, uh, 80 gallon per day RODI unit and the RO, the RO, it's a, it's a, it goes through three filters and then it goes through the fourth which is the membrane and that pushes, that pushes the water through it and what it does is it, is it basically takes out all the suspending uh, uh, non-soluble chemicals or uh, particulates, excuse me, out of the water. The deionization part is taking is is doing an ion exchange, which is which is a chemical process. And what it's doing is it's taking all of the uh, um, all of the stuff like you know you could take sugar and you can dissolve that in water. You can take salt and you can dissolve that in water. And so all of those. Uh, uh, things that can attach itself to the water molecule. It does an ion exchange and basically it pushes through everything that is not just pure water. So um, that's pretty much what you're getting. The downside of it is that you're getting water that is completely stripped. Um, I've done some videos on, on uh, uh, buffering RODI unit water and you can go ahead and check those out and the upside is that you have nothing but pure water so I've done another video on this but this is uh, this is some trace elements of course when you have nothing but pure water you need to add a buffer to it whether it's uh, some some of your tap water back to it or uh, a, some sort of a pH buffer that's just to, just to make the water from uh, keeping it from doing any type of pH swings because in, in completely stripped down water you have no mineral content to buffer that water. Uh, so you can control it that way and then you of course you have to put back in the trace elements. So you know why not just use uh, regular tap water and, 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 and stuff like that because you can't really control the mineral content. So real quickly as, as, as a discus owner look at the egg laying process okay so we, you know, everybody knows that you can kind of get disc, discus to acclimate even to uh, uh, conditions that aren't optimum for them. But the egg laying process, eggs don't acclimate. If your mineral content with egg laying, if it's too low and you don't have enough minerals in it, then the eggs, they will swell up with water and then burst and you're obviously going to lose a whole bunch of, whole bunch of your eggs. If the mineral content is too heavy then what's going to happen is the eggs will shrink and you're going to lose a lot of your fry that way as well, a lot of your eggs. So the upside of, of using an RODI unit is that you know, you're removing all of your sulfates, you're removing all of your chlorides, you're removing all of your sodium, you're removing all of these, all of these bad things that an RO unit by itself won't do. The RO, the, the deionization chamber, takes out all of the uh, 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 the ions that have attached itself to the water molecule. It takes all those out and pushes nothing but straight uh, straight water through. And then, pretty much after that, you can control the amount of minerals that you're putting back into the water. And this is really important if you're going to uh, uh, expect your discus to be spawning. So, those are my thoughts. Uh, let me hear from you guys, see what you guys think, and thanks for watching. Paul, that one's for you, buddy. Check out my new little red melon. <laughs>